The 1981 hit arcade game Frogger has been ported and remade dozens of times. Due to conflicting rights issues, the Atari 2600 actually has two different versions of Frogger, one from Parker Brothers and one from Starpath. I'm going to cover the Parker Brothers version because it was more popular, it came out first, and it was the one I played when I was a kid. The objective is to get your frog from the bottom of the screen to the top into one of five gaps. Once you send five frogs into all five gaps, you've cleared the level and you move on to the next one. The bottom half of the screen consists of a five lane highway with incredibly fucked up regulations. Each lane alternates which direction is the right side of the road. How the hell do you get out of there if you're in the middle lane? Well, you don't give a shit when you're the frog, because you're just trying to get across and dodge the traffic. The top half is a river where you can hop on logs and turtles to get across. I used to think that the round orange things were supposed to be lily pads, but they're turtles. Which makes sense, because when they change to light blue, that means that you can still walk on them, but they're about to submerge underwater. So proceed with caution. So you start out with five lives, and anytime you hit a hazard, you lose one and you'll start back from the bottom of the screen, even if you land in the water. I guess this frog can't swim. You also have to battle a timer, which is displayed in the lower right hand portion of the screen as a gradually decreasing black bar, which will then turn red when you're getting close to running out of time. The number of hazards and difficulty will increase at each screen you advance. First, there'll be alligators that you'll find swimming in the river. Just don't walk on its mouth area while it's open. The gators will occasionally pop out and block you from entering your home. They won't appear out of the blue right before you're about to jump and hit you with a cheap death. You can catch it ahead of time when they're in this state, about to surface from the water. You can enter the home when they're in this state, but be careful because you might end up jumping into the alligator. Other hazards include a snake that will occupy the median, which is normally a haven between the two portions. And then later it'll patrol the long log in the middle of the river every other time it passes across the screen. The traffic on the street will also increase in numbers and speed, and depending on what setting you have the difficulty switch on, you'll either die from hitting the edge of the screen when being carried into it, or you'll come back out the other side. The wall death makes things much more difficult, as not only do you have to keep yourself as far away from the right side as possible, but it also makes battling the time tougher. Plus, getting into the home on the far left is a pain in the ass because you have to get all the way to the left and jump quick. You get points for each hop you take, entering your home, and remaining time left on the clock after you finish. You can also get bonus points for helping the lady frog that occupies the small log every other rotation around the river, and for eating flies that show up in the home every once in a while. Aside from toggling the wall death, there are also three different game variations. The first mode starts you off at the beginning, and the second mode starts you off at a more difficult stage, and the third mode starts at the beginning but has more of a pressure sensitivity with your movements. It's pretty much meant for speedrunning, but you'll have to be able to adjust to the controls. There's also a two-player alternating mode for any of these three variations. The animation is decent, but the graphics are colorful and vibrant, and there's some nice music to introduce each stage. Above all else, the gameplay is addictive as all hell. You'll find yourself playing this and it won't even cross your mind how primitive the game is. It's that much fun. Frogger is widely regarded as one of the greatest games of all time and its legacy lives on to this day.